Let's get a win in Fantasy Week 13. Welcome, everybody, to Fantasy Football Today. We are live for the next hour and a half answering your questions. Adam Azer with Chris Towers and Frank Stample on this beautiful, cool, crisp Sunday morning here in New York, all different parts of New York. What's going on, fellas? Yo, you are correct. It actually is pretty nice outside. The sun is shining. And yeah. the first thing I wanted to let people know, because I've gotten a ton of Jay Williams questions already today, Please use a first name because <laughs> uh, yes, Paul Javante. I'm sure we're going to get lots of questions involving those players, rightfully so. We need first names today, guys. Which one do you prefer, Jay Williams or Jay Williams? I'm sorry, gonna... sorry. I'll I'll clear it up. J A yeah. Williams or J A Williams? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with the J A Williams in an orange jersey. I have the one in the blue jersey. Ooh. Yeah, full PPR. I'm also going to go with the one in the blue jersey. Yeah, I've got there. Jamal ahead of Javon. It's really close. I've got Jamal. I think he's RB10 and or eight, maybe. And J Javante's 11, something like that. Yeah, I literally yeah. have them 10 and 12. So yeah, J Jamal is eight. I have James Connor nine and then Javante Williams 10. Okay, James Connor is going to be really good. I, he's like 85% started as of right now. I think it should be more like 100% started. I don't really get that, but yeah, uh, he's also pretty cheap on FanDuel. He's one of my favorite buys there, but I don't think we're going to get any James Conner questions. Everybody here knows to start him. Now, the, the tough ones are going to be the Rams and the Jaguars. That game, it doesn't seem, and I'm just checking here my phone. It seems uh, like Daryl Henderson is, is on the doubtful side yeah. of questionable, and James Robinson is on the probable side of questionable. David Johnson is inactive. Just looking at the inactives as they come in Man, now. Rex Burkhead, uh, if you are desperate, Rex Burkhead might. He is. He, yeah. 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 He's RB21 for me. 20 touches for 40 yards, Chris, incoming. Yep. That, that's. <laughs> yeah. That might yeah. be it. I mean, you just look at the workload that him and David Johnson got the last couple of weeks, and you're talking 20 carries and I think six targets last week. Um, and I'm not sure if they they don't have a running back on the roster besides Rex Burkhead, who's active this week, who has a touch this season. I guess Royce Freeman technically has a touch for the Panthers, uh, but mm. they don't have. Yeah, he's the only guy active this week who has a touch for the Texans so far this season. OK, so getting back to the uh, four o'clock game, Rams and Jaguars here. Uh, Sony Michelle, how much confidence do you have to start him over? Let me let's see. I mean, I, look for if I knew right now that Daryl Henderson were out, I would start Sony Michelle over the Dolphins Giants running backs. Yeah, Sony Michelle that, is fourteen that, for me. I'm assuming Henderson's not playing. Yeah, it's a little dicey though, isn't it? Yeah. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. It, it's tough. Um, but given what we've seen, it does. I mean, Daryl Henderson got one limited practice in, I believe, on Friday, and the reports from either last night or this morning suggested that he's unlikely to play yeah and, they, and are, he, they are not optimistic i believe okay so we'll go ahead with with sony michelle then yeah. um all right let me uh eagles let's talk about the eagles real quick and then we'll start getting into some more questions by the way please hit the like button right now everybody hit like yeah. let's go to let's get to 800 let's be bold let's get to 800 likes today that's what we want um eagles gardner Minshew starting miles sanders and boston scott are in uh frank what are we doing with Devonte smith Devonte smith yeah, I think Devontae Smith is not a must-start wide receiver. I think he's a high-end wide receiver three. Uh, I don't know that the the quarterback play is going to take that big of a downgrade. I mean, it's it's not like the passing seen, at least. Yeah, yeah, the passing. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that you know that that really affects things all that much here. But I just think the volume, right? Like we know that the Eagles want to run. Uh, they're probably going to use their running backs even more now today. Boston Scott is even more. Yeah, I mean, I mean they might use their running backs more, but that are they going to have more total runs? I think they're going to throw the ball more now without Hurts. Not a lot, but I heard you know you could have had a twenty pass attempt game here in this game. Yeah, I, I think you're going to actually have. I, I think this is better for Smith personally. No, I mean I, I really didn't move him. I, I had him like high and wide yeah. receiver three yeah. in that range, and I'm just going to leave him there. I, I I do think it's a lot of running today. I don't I don't think that it really changes their game plan all that much. I don't. Maybe Chris feels differently. I moved him up a little bit, but I, I think it was from like 27 ish to he's 22 for me. But yeah, I want to be clear that that is damning with faint praise. Wide receiver is bad right now. I don't know if I've ever felt worse about the wide receiver position. 
and frankly, quarterback. I mean, I've got Russell Wilson as my QB 12 this week, and I have no confidence in him. But like, am I really going to rank Taylor Heineke ahead of him? I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, no, I am starting Heineke over over Gardner Minshew, though. I don't know if anybody yeah, is. That, but... that makes more sense. I, yeah. Well, I mean, I lost Jalen Hurts. So I had a, had a pivot. Um, I do want to let you know, Chris, that over the last three seasons, mm-hmm. wide receiver 12 is averaging a lot more fantasy points than the previous two years. Wide receiver 24 is averaging almost exactly the same. And wide receiver 30 is almost is averaging almost exactly the same per game. I was very surprised. That's over the last three weeks, you said? Three seasons. Oh, okay. No, I meant just specifically right now. Wide receiver just is uh, – I, I don't think it's been like a season-long thing. For me, it's mostly just like I look at my rankings and I get to DeAndre Hopkins at 19. I have no confidence in that. Darnell Mooney, I feel pretty good about him. But then – I've got Michael Pittman, Devontae Smith, Jerry Judy, Hunter Renfro, Brandon Cooks, Chase Claypool, Elijah Moore. I don't feel great about any of those guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I agree with that. I, I have actually have DeAndre Hopkins, same exact ranking, Chris. So wide receiver 19, just ahead of him, Pittman, Ayuk, Renfro. Yeah. Like, I feel okay like, about those guys, but yeah, I mean, I've like, got Kenny Galladay, beyond, it's tough. I've got Kenny Galladay 30th, and that doesn't seem good, but. Again, am I going to move Jamison Crowder ahead of him? Am I going to put Tyler Boyd? Like, th- these are like, there's not a lot of reliable, good options at wide yeah. receiver right now. Right. It's, I mean, it's Russell really Hayes tough. might be a start this week for a lot of people. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the questions here. Let's start with this one. Oh, this one on everybody's mind Tyler Conklin or Tyler Higby? <laughs> um, Tyler uh, hard hitting. Uh, <laughs> Tyler Higby. Yes, yeah, I Higby. have them back to back, so I guess it's a fair Ooh, question. I have Higby one spot higher. Someone's looking at Frank's rankings. <laughs> From Car- by the way, Frank went out on Friday night with uh, one of my friends. Did not invite me. Very, uh, very wow, wow. <laughs> Adam, let's be completely honest. Oh, There's oh. no way you were traveling to the city. Oh, to this which That's city? Right. Manhattan, New York, city. New York City. No, I would not. <laughs> uh, all right, pick a running back and a flex and a wide receiver. Sony Michelle, Miles Sanders, Damian Harris, Devin Singletary. I would go with Sony Michelle. Um, I believe yes. I have Sony Michelle one spot yeah. higher than Miles Sanders. And if Henderson plays, you've got two Monday Night guys there. I guess. Yep. Uh, pick a wide receiver: Reynolds, Parker, uh, Devonte. I believe I have Reynolds one one or two spots higher. Uh, yeah, two spots higher. And then pick a flex. San- Miles Sanders, Damian Harris, Devin Singletary, or the wide receiver, or Pat Fryermuth. Mm, Sanders. Yeah. Fryermuth or Dawson Knox, half PPR? Fryermuth. Yes. Oh, okay, Wait, we need to do a weather update, too, by the way. How's, our, how's your weather knowledge right now? So I, I know. Uh, let's let's just try- look up Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. Weather's looking fine there. There was some concern about that one. Weather's fine right. there. That's the only one I've looked up. Okay, Chicago. We got to look into Chicago. And then tomorrow night, Buffalo is going to be wild. Yeah. <laughs> so not going to be good for passing games. Uh, where, did you guys get Josh Allen outside of your top five? No, he no. is still QB2 for me. Yeah, he is four for me, so. A little bit lower. So you have Mahomes and Brady ahead of him? Yeah, but I, like, I didn't feel good about that either. It's oh, yeah, no. That's the top of the QB <laughs> position. I have Lamar Jackson number one. It's like the guy just threw four interceptions. <laughs> you yeah, don't feel same. great about it. Yeah, no. I, 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 it's it's going to be windy in Chicago, it seems. I don't know. If you know, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard that that city gets some wind occasionally <laughs> yeah well sometimes they're talking about 15 mile per hour wind something like that not too that's bad. not enough yeah it's that's not enough for me to to really you know yeah, I, I think you probably need to get into like the 20 mile per hour sustained before you really start worrying about it um yeah. it's gonna be an ugly it, it's it's gonna be rainy and with some wind so yeah. don't go to the game but it might might scare you off a little bit from the passing game uh yeah, Odell, don't start andy dalton or Russell Gage. Well, but you know the Kyler, Kyler Murray, and all those guys, and Mooney. They are no, actually yeah. interesting. 
And don't start Dalton. He's right. Uh, Odell or Gage? So I guess I'll just put this out here now and everyone can make fun of me. Um, I have Odell Beckham as my wide receiver 15. Wow. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I have him 28, but as we are talking about the wide receiver position, it's not great. Um, I was a little bit more excited about him earlier in the week before he was dealing with the hip injury. It looks like he's going to play. So, yeah. um, you know, worry about it a little bit. And the fact that, you know, they're big favorites in that game. So if they get up, you know, do they maybe rest Odell Beckham in the second half? I think it's a possibility, uh, but solid wide receiver three for me. I would take him over Russell Gage. 92 likes people. We can do better than that. We got 400 people in the room. Let's get to 150 likes immediately. Hit that like button, please. Should I start James Conner, Antonio Gibson, or David Montgomery in PPR? I have James Conner ranked highest out of them, uh, but they're all top 13 for me. I have Conner one spot ahead of Antonio Gibson, but uh, I don't feel great about it. That's Oh, you should feel great about it. That's a really tough call. Uh, Connor, the workload he's getting. Um, the thing I was surprised when I looked at it this week was the 15 targets in three games since Edmonds injury. That That's huge. He's got at least four targets in all three of the games. One of them he didn't start. That was the one that Edmonds uh, left early, I believe. But yeah, no, Edmonds or Connor's workload is just, it's too good for me to go away from. Yeah, it's all of those games were without Kyler Murray, though, I believe, right? Yeah. That's, so, yeah. It's an X factor, but I think it could be good for him. You know, it's, I don't know that it's bad for him. It's not like Murray, Murray will throw to him. I, it's a, I, I don't know. I'm going, with, I'm going with Connor. Yeah. He's playing 80% of the snaps. Too, Here's the thing so. about Gibson. I mean, they have won three in a row, I believe. Mm -hmm. So what if they lose? Does he just go back to being the guy who gets game scripted out, even without JD McKissick there? I'm not convinced he's going to be on the field on, in third down situation. And, they, and they've come out and, and said that Wendell Smallwood is going to play. Yeah the JD McKissick role. I don't think he's going to play, you know, 50% of the snaps if the game script goes that way, but I'm not expecting Antonio Gibson to see this huge increase in uh, passing game work. I know he had the seven targets last week, but four of them came in the first half, I believe, and they were all screens. That was a that's something that Seattle has really struggled against pass catching running back. So, yeah. I'm not 100% sure if that was indicative of any kind of change in his role. Right, and by the way, if you're really desperate and you're in a PPR league, Wendell Smallwood might give you a Ty Montgomery-like game and come through with seven points or something like that. Uh, I'd Patriot, rather have Rex Burkhead, though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, but you know, for me, like, uh, I'm gonna go with Tevin Coleman because I have no idea what Wendell Smallwood's role will be. But yeah. Coleman could be horrible. So, oh, he, yeah, he probably won't be good. Uh, New England or Kansas City. DST. Mm. I would go with Kansas City. Uh, that is really close. I'll take New England. Give me two out of these three. Jefferson, Chase, Keenan Allen. Full PPR. Man. That is You're uh, sitting easy, Jamar Chase. Easy. Yep. That's a good problem. It's right? really hard to do. Yeah. Uh, DST, Dolphins or Eagles? Dolphins. Yeah. Has Henderson officially been ruled out? No. Nope. Nope. He is not. We are it, reading the tea leaves. Javante or Hopkins, half PPR? Mm, Javante. Correct. Well, we've got a Hopkins run. Chase, McLaurin, or Hopkins, PPR? Pick two. I don't think I could catch McLaurin. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting, I think I have McLaurin one spot ahead of Hopkins. I do. Yeah. Two spots. Yeah. yeah, I would sit Hopkins. Hopkins or Devontae Smith? Hopkins. Yep, I would play him there. Right. So Hopkins is not necessarily going to get his typical workload today. That's why we're a little low on Hopkins. Although I would rank him around 20th, even, you know, he, he might be 16 in the current landscape if he was, if I expected him to get his normal workload. But, you know, he hasn't been DeAndre Hopkins, even when healthy this season. Yeah. And no, he's been an easy start. You know, you still start him. Right, right, but he's he hasn't been like a a number one. Like he's like nineteenth in points per game. I think a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Um, let me tell you what he is. If you remove the Green Bay game where he played twenty five percent of the snaps, I think he's closer to sixteen. Um, but we'll tell you in a moment. Let's read another question here. Pick two: Brandon Cook, Sony Michelle, or Odell Beckham. 
Hmm. I would uh, go Tony Michelle and Odell Beckham. I would go with Michelle and Cooks. I would go with Cooks and Michelle just to cover your bases in case Henderson plays, and then you can go Cooks and Beckham. Probably. Mm-hmm. If Henderson plays, he still might get a good game from Michelle, but I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, uh, I guess that makes sense. Let me see. Arizona wide receivers. Hopkins, in his first seven games, he was 11th in non-PPR, 12th in PPR total. But per game, he was 13th in non-PPR and 18th in full PPR. Yep. Okay. Henry, Fant, or Foster Moreau? Uh, oh. Foster Moreau, yeah. Yeah, he's top 10 for me this week. Yeah, he's the only one of those three that's top 12. Burkhead or Knox? Um, I would go with Burkhead. I think so. Montgomery or love the conviction. Montgomery or Gaskin? <laughs> Montgomery. I mean, how are you supposed to have conviction starting Rex Burkhead? That was the joke. Seriously. Uh, I have Montgomery. Miles Gaskin one spot higher. Montgomery just... is such a dud i mean i i need them to start throwing the ball to him i don't under because like it's not even like i'm not surprised that justin fields isn't throwing the ball to him because he's a running quarterback and that often happens but i'm surprised that andy dalton i think his target rate share at for running backs is only like 14 percent or something it's really low he hasn't played much though but yeah three targets last week for montgomery caught all three of them he's playing every snap basically yeah the playing time's there Okay, I need one to play. Cortland Sutton, Tevin Coleman, or Tyler Boyd? Oh, Half PPR. Man. Oh, man. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I, would I have with... Coleman. Yeah, Tevin Coleman. DeAndre Hopkins or Darnell Mooney? Half PPR. I believe I have Hopkins one spot ahead. Yeah, I have yes. Hopkins a few spots higher. Pick one, a running back and a wide receiver. Okay, Waddle, Mooney, or Ayuk? Waddle. Yes. He is, I think he's 14 for me. Ayuk is 16. Javante, Javon, Javal, or James? Jamal. It's Javante for me. Okay. I need a quarterback. Kyler or Carr? Start with that. I have the same Kyler. decision in a super flex league. I have Kyler in as of now. What are we up to in likes? 164. 164 like let's go let's get to 200 that's a third of you hit that like yeah. button at least a third of you like us i agree yeah, yeah i always am pleased that we don't have any dislikes not don't, but, don't dare them yeah <laughs> uh gage kirk or parker huh interesting that is close i would probably go with Devonte parker i have russell gage one spot ahead of christian kirk but all three of these names are within five spots of each other. And a Rams running back, Saquon or Gaskin. This is half PPR. I would go with the Rams running backs. Correct. 205 likes. Excellent work. Thank you, everybody. I need one. Rashad Bateman, Daryl Williams, or Tevin Coleman? Uh, oh. Tevin Coleman. We are yeah. seeing Tevin Coleman way too much today. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you can go Coleman there. 49ers or Seahawks rest of season. Do you trust their DSTs? Well, that's going to require some schedule looking at. I only look at the next game uh, for a DST, unless they have two good games in a row. Um, so Seahawks have the Texans next week. So that's good. 49ers have the Bengals, so the Seahawks DST rest of season. Yeah, yeah they'll only just, start one of them next week. To answer your question, Jamie. Uh, the Seahawks don't get any sacks. That's their problem. So they're not a high-scoring DST. They face the Houston Texans, then the Rams, but then it's the Bears and the and the Lions in Week 16 and 17. They're okay. 49ers, I probably trust more without knowing the schedule. I so will try to take a look. Week 15, 16, 17, they have the Falcons, Titans, Texans. Oh, wow. It's pretty good. It's pretty yeah. good, yeah. Uh, Dave that, Montgomery. Oh, Adam, by the way. Yes. You see the big news? Are no. you excited? No. The Mario Cristobal era is going to start in Miami. Is that happening for real? That is, that's the report. From who? Uh, the Levitard shows Mike Ryan 
who has actually like been on top of this story. Okay, I'm going to tell my friends to go find it so I know Chris is go. watching me. Wikipedia already had Chris DeBall as the Hurricanes head coach this morning for some yeah. reason, which was FIU weird. FIU legend, Mario Cristobal. Okay. Yes, I am excited. I am excited. You should be. He's good. He is. He's accomplished. He's good. This is a big deal. Oh, my gosh. My – just – how I can't wait until I can't wait until you start out three and zero in twenty twenty two, and lose to like NC State or something. Is that his thing? Oh. He loses. No, his that's UM's thing. Uh, that's uh, UM loses a lot more than or that. Like Duke like, or UNC. But like the you know the the U is back swagger thing after like three wins and then you lose. Right, to that's team. always you was always no back. no excuse yeah. losing to. I'm looking forward to it. Um. Yeah. No. My my. Mood is going to be a lot better, I think. You know, if they're if they're actually good. Uh, Montgomery or Miles Gaskin, full PPR. Monty, Miles Gaskin for me. Devontae Smith, Elijah Moore, or Miles Sanders in my flex. Hmm. I would go with Miles Sanders. Yes, Miles Sanders. Uh oh, I'm just like on top of the world. I'm so happy right now. Uh, okay. By the way, are we downgrading Elijah Moore with Corey Davis active? Maybe a little bit, but I, I, I have to think Elijah Moore is still going to be the clear number one there. You know, he, he had a 33% target share last week. That's not going to be the case moving forward. They're going to throw more than 24 times. Um, but yeah, I, I think Elijah Moore is still top 30. I have him just outside. I lowered him a little bit when I saw that Corey Davis is active. So wide receiver 32, one spot. Behind your favorite wide receiver, Adam, that is Mike Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be pretty bad to be behind Mike Williams these days. Moreau, Tevin Coleman, Kenny Galladay, PPR. And you have an amazing day too, kill a traffic. Get out of that traffic. <sighs> I might actually have. I think Moreau. I want to go with Moreau. I think, yeah, I've got him. Uh, I've got Galladay right now. I'm going to go Galladay. Let's go oh, Galladay. Come on. Now. All yeah. right, we need a quarterback question. Wentz or Burrow? And do you think Kadarius Tony is worth rostering at this point? Okay, so I would go with Burrow first. And, um, man, I it's weird that Tony and Shepard have been out and, like, not practicing. Tony hasn't practiced at all. Um, I think Shepard did get, like, a limited practice in. But it, it's weird that they've gone so slowly from quad injuries. You don't usually see uh, that. So I don't know. I, I don't know how much upside there is in this passing game. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I am not. I am not interested in Ross. I've held on to him in one keeper league just because I may may want to keep him for like five dollars next year if he closes out the season strong. So I'm just gonna kind of hang on to him oh, and, yeah. and see what happens. Look, I think if Adam says you could drop Kadarius Tony, then you could drop Kadarius Tony. <laughs> I don't know that Mike Glennon is that much worse for him, but I just don't think he's going to be more than two thirds of the snaps. First of all, you're never going to get a big snap share from him, and uh, you don't know when he's playing. He's so injury prone, it's a shame. I just, I, I, yeah, I just moved Brandon Ayuk in my lineup ahead of Terry McLaurin. Doesn't feel great. Feels bad. Okay, how about Montgomery, Sony Michelle, Miles Gaskin, or Miles Sanders? Pick two. So I have Michelle. Actually, I have Montgomery ranked the highest, and then Michelle, and then Sanders. They're back to back to back in my rankings with Gaskin a couple spots lower. So I would go, I would plan on Montgomery and Michelle. Um, yeah. I, I would go two games are at one, right? Rams game is the only one at four. Rams for those. four. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yep. I would go mm -hmm. Michelle and Gaskin. I would go Michelle and or Montgomery and Sanders just because I don't think Michelle's enough of an upgrade over Sanders to take the risk. Chris, what's a better song? Guns N' Roses, My Michelle, or the Beatles, Michelle? Uh, the Guns N' Roses one. I, I agree. <laughs> that, that, that song whips. That song is great. I don't really like either song that much, but the, uh, Michelle, Michelle is one of my least favorite Beatles songs. Love, love anything off Appetite for Destruction. It's just... Yeah. Chris, that's, is that what the young kids are saying? Whips nowadays? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing that people say. Yeah, I've heard uh, yeah. claps. I think that's what they say. 
Slaps is a thing. Slaps, slaps. For sure. Claps oh, yeah, slaps. Right. You it had me thinking it was claps. <laughs> All right, we just we answered this a little while ago. We'll do it again. Andre Hopkins or Mooney? Hopkins, one spot ahead of Mooney. Yep, Hopkins. Um, Wait, there was one specifically I wanted to find here. I will find it. But let's do this. Sit Madison or Elijah Mitchell? Woo. Let's go to the rankings. Oh, it was sitting Mitchell. I have. I, I shouldn't make it so that. Yeah, I, I mean, it's so obvious. But I'm sitting Mitchell. They're both inside of my top six, but I do have Madison higher. Uh, yeah, Mitchell is ten for me. Madison is four. Gage or Galladay? Galladay. Mm, I believe I have Gage higher. Okay. Dolphins defense has been playing much better recently. Yes. Yeah. Well, Bucks yeah. too, though. I mean. Yeah. Sure. Bucks haven't the given problem for me 70 with, yards to a receiver in eight weeks. A problem with Gage is like, unless he scores, you're probably looking at like an upside case of six catches for 60 yards, where right. at least like Galladay could conceivably hit a big play, you know? And last week I was, I sat him for Evan Ingram because I said, gosh, Russell Gage never scores. And of course he scored, but he really pretty much never scores. Manny Diaz has not been fired, right? He is still officially the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes, right? Yeah, yeah. We have two. We're going to be so rough, good. Rough stuff for Manny Diaz the last few days. It is pretty weird. He's coaching the team, and and they're and they're try, you know actively interviewing his replacement. It's, it's weird. weird. Uh, pick two: Barkley, Sanders, or Mooney. Full PPR. I think I would sit Mooney. Yep. Okay. Full PPR, McLaurin, Waddle, DeAndre Hopkins. One has to sit. Only one. Sit. I would sit. Hopkins. Sit Hopkins. Yes. Yep. There, I'm looking for the comment that was like, no, Dave or Jamie? And <laughs> it cracked what? me up. Who are those guys? <laughs> yeah, no. Dave and Jamie, those are, the, those are our backups. They're on the network yeah. thing. They don't get, they don't get invited for, to this show. No, part they, don't of the get party. YouTube. they don't get web only. Um, although I guess HQ is kind of web only, right? Even though you can watch it on your TV. Yeah, yeah but that's, you know, technically like you can watch this on your TV too. More prestigious. Yes, you could. Ooh, we have almost 800 people. Do we have 300 likes yet? We have 295. That's okay. We can do that. You know what? Let's do, um, let's do a new poll. Let's do a poll here, producer Chris. How about Jamal Williams or Javante Williams? Let's see what people have to say. It is the question of the day. Uh, Cousins or Kyler, full PPR. I would go with Kyler. It's Cousins for me. No matter how long we do this job, people will always tell us the scoring format in a quarterback question, and we appreciate you. I Even, mean, just objectively, Kyler Murray has a better chance of catching a pass. At 100%. Yeah, I would say than so. Kirk Cousins. Eagles or Cardinals DST today? Full PPR for this one, too. I go Eagles. Uh, yes, yeah, Eagles, Eagles. I would. I think I would go with the Cardinals. Heineke or Minshew? Heineke. He yep. might have a different answer, but Heineke on this show. <laughs> uh, who do I bench? Saquon Barkley, Miles Sanders, or Javante Williams? I would sit Miles Sanders. I would be sitting Saquon. Taylor Heineke needs to grow a mustache. And he would probably like, there's no reason Gardner Minshew should be this cult hero and Taylor Heineke isn't kind of the same guy, right? Yeah, I think there are a lot of lot in common there. I know Heath would like him more if he had a mustache. Yeah, he just needs a mustache and a better PR guy. Devontae Freeman or Sony Michelle, PPR? Oh, Michelle, easy. Yep. Pittman or Lockett, non PPR? Lockett for me. Lockett's a top 12. 12? Yep, top 10 wide receiver for me. I have Pittman two spots higher. But I'm still like, I, I'm kind of just approaching Lockett and Metcalf as if they're fine. Maybe that's dumb, but I just, Russell Wilson has too long of a track record to keep struggling like this. Like I, I know maybe he's not 100% healthy, but I just kind of have to believe. Uh, your favorite Seahawks running back today is whom? Adrian Peterson, but none. He's yeah. 
I, I felt like Rashad Penny was going to get a good opportunity to, to try to stay healthy. But, you know, he did start two or three weeks ago, whenever that was, and then he got hurt, and now he's back. He played two snaps before yeah. getting hurt. Yeah, you're right. Um, and then they activate Peters. I feel like Collins is probably going to be inactive today. Just a guy I've no. Well, he's, he's not 100% healthy either. So, right. If uh, the other guy's practice in full, Collins is, is playing hurt and has been so unproductive, it wouldn't surprise me if he's inactive. So, if you are planning on starting Alex Collins, you should not, mm-hmm. but you probably aren't. Gasicki or Fryermuth PPR? Uh, Gasicki. Uh, I know he's a little really worried with Devontae down. Parker a- active, yeah. but. I, I would go with Fryermuth. Okay. How about Logan Thomas or Devontae Freeman PPR? That's interesting. I would go with Logan Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. In the PPR, that's fine. All right, we're going to reset here at the top of the hour with 800 of you joining us right now on Fantasy Football Today. Thank you for taking this time. Now, we have 800. That's a pretty normal audience, maybe actually a little bit bigger for noon. Gets a little, as we get closer to kickoff, we'll get even more people. And that's a great sign because we're here in week 13. It's December already. And you know, in your leagues, a lot of people, they've given up. They don't care. They're doing other things on Sunday. Losers. Uh, maybe they're playing DFS, though. You should listen to the Fantasy Football Today DFS podcast hosted by Frank Stanfull. With Sia Najat and Mike McClure. Check that out anywhere you listen to podcasts. But we want to welcome you. We want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, big stories. Let's go through it kind of one by one. Replacement running backs this week. We've got Madison is the best, right? Yes. Yep. He is. He was almost my number one overall player this week. Then we've got Javante and Jamal, who are right there. And then, so, how do you guys rank Javante Williams, Jamal Williams? And Sony Michelle is right now. We are assuming Daryl Henderson is not going to play. For me, it's Jamal, Javante, Sony, but they're all within. They're all between ten, or they're all between eight and fourteen at running back. Yeah, so I have a Javante, Jamal, and Sony Michelle. They're all between ten and seventeen. So I just did something similar. so. I just did something so satisfying. I know you'll appreciate this, Frank, because I talk about Mike Williams all the time. I just took him out of my lineup. And replaced him with Javante Williams. I mean, what an that's upgrade! Nice. Yeah, oh, that's, that's nice. I got a lot of Javante Williams. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. All right. Um, now, listen, no, Adam. You, you mentioned people dropping out of leagues or losing interest. Can I can I tell you a ridiculous thing that my league mates told me this week? <laughs> yeah. Uh, in my long running league with our my college friends and a handful of CBS Sports people. They told me that there there's less interest in the league this year because my team is too good. <laughs> <laughs> I got blamed for a league wide lack of interest. Good for you. Kick their kick their butt. Yeah, man. Way 13 to go. and 0. I'm can't wait to lose in the playoffs. I, I want to talk to you though about the last three running backs, really the last three games against the Chiefs. Okay, you've got the Packers guys were okay. Mm-hmm. AJ Dillon had 90 total yards with four catches, uh, but neither Jones nor Dylan had more than 53 rushing yards, but they did split fairly evenly. Josh Jacobs had seven carries for 16 yards. He had five catches for 20 yards. That's 36 total yards. And then Zeke was terrible, but he did have six catches. Pollard was seven for 50. My point, their, their defense has been a lot better. I think they gave up about 90 total yards or close to that every game to a running back until their last two games. So it is a little bit unfortunate that the Chiefs are playing a lot better and Javante Williams gets this opportunity, but then there, Mike Boone might get some work too. He's, I don't think it's going to be all Javante. So, yeah, it's something to throw out there. Something Instead of a 50-50 split, which is what Javante has been in in terms of touches, um, it's probably more like 65-35 or 67-33, mm-hmm. something like that. Um, yeah, I was leaning but yeah. 70-30, but I, I think you're right there in the ballpark. All right, Cardinals passing game. Kyler and Hopkins, are they starts? I have Kyler inside my top 10 quarterbacks. So mm-hmm. if he was like 100% healthy, we weren't worried about whether uh, he probably would be top five. Uh, so I downgrade him a little bit. DeAndre Hopkins, low end wide receiver two, uh, have him right at wide receiver 20 overall. So he's like on the border of being a must start, but it's just like the nature of the wide receiver position right now. Not very good, as we've talked about a bunch. I'm a tiny bit higher on Kyler, but right there with him on DeAndre. And then 
like Christian Kirk, AJ Green, those guys are in like the 35 to 40 range. I, Jalen, you know, oh, sorry. Uh, Jalen Hurts is out. Chris, we'll go to the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Rank Boston, rank Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Devontae Smith as flexes. Miles Sanders, Devontae Smith, Boston Scott. Okay. And what am I missing here? What's another big one that we're keeping an eye on? Um, where do you guys have DK Metcalf this week? Wide receiver 14. Yeah. 13. I knew Chris was going to have him higher just because he said he's approaching it as if Russell Wilson is going to get back on track, which he should. We just haven't really seen it yet. Uh, I have Metcalf at wide receiver 22. I am a little bit more worried about this foot injury that he's playing through. I, I know that they're like talking about the squeaky wheel. They need to get the ball to mm -hmm. him more. I like the, the connection between him and Russell Wilson is just awful. It hasn't been right. Yeah. Now. And on top of that, I, I just, I don't think he's healthy. Uh, you know, yeah. a, a player of his caliber, how big he is, how fast he is. It would be totally reasonable if, this is hampering his play, DK Metcalf. So I'm a little bit more worried. He's wide receiver 22. All right, DK Metcalf or Rex Burkhead? That's a real question. <laughs> I would DK still take Metcalf. Metcalf. I would still take Metcalf, yeah. Okay. All right, guys, let's go back to the questions here. And thank everybody so much for, for joining us today. And let's see if we can get a lot of your questions answered. Okay. Javante Williams, David Montgomery, Sony Michelle, pick two. <clears throat> I would sit Sony. I would sit Montgomery. Hopkins, Cooks, Elijah Moore, James Robinson, Darnell Mooney, Miles Gaskin. It's PPR. Give me your two favorites there. Mm. That is a lot of names. So I think it would be Robinson and Hopkins for me. That sounds right. Uh, I will go with Robinson and Miles Gaskin. It might be Gaskin. Yeah, it's Robinson and Gaskin. Okay, Cor oh, we did this one. We said Tevin Coleman here, and then we yep. barfed. <laughs> Emmanuel Sanders or Hunter Renfro? Um, automatic Sanders. No, go Hunter Renfro. <laughs> Renfro. Yeah, Renfro inside my top <laughs> I get it now. So uh, um, I'm so excited for the Monday night game, and if it's snowy and crazy, I'm going to be even more excited. I, that is just... That is just so promising. I love it. Should I pick up Sanders or Michelle and drop either Kareem Hunt, Michael Carter, or CEH PPR rest of season? You can drop Carter and, and pick up. Uh... <sighs> Man, if you need someone this week, I would rather have Michelle. But I think Sanders has more long-term value, so I think that's enough of a tiebreaker to make him the pickup. Sanders yeah. versus Clyde rest of season is interesting. I think, you know, Sanders has a bye next week, so that's mm -hmm. that'll deter you a little bit. But who do you think is better per game? I would, I would think CEH. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Okay. Start two in full PPR. Miles Sanders, David Montgomery, or Sony Michelle? I would um, sit Sanders there. So my rankings say sit Michelle or sit Sanders, but if yeah. you're worried about these – the chance of Henderson being a surprise active. I don't mind starting Sanders over Michelle. It's a small margin between the two of them. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, Kirk, Elijah Moore, Rashad Bateman, or Boston Scott. It'd be Elijah Moore for me. Boston Scott for me. Devonte Parker or T Y Hilton. Hmm. Uh, I would go with, Ooh, actually, I would go Devontae. I know T.Y. Hilton is facing the Texans, and he usually eats against them. I just really don't think that they're going to have to pass the ball very much today. I've got T.Y. He's going to celebrate his former head coach getting a new job. <laughs> so as an FIU guy, are you pro Cristobal? You, he's good? I've, oh, he's a great coach. I've always liked him, uh, and it sucks that I'm going to have to root, root against him now. <laughs> I've always loved – like it's always been great watching him like be awesome at Oregon, and now – I hope he never wins another game. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will. Uh, did we answer we'll this take one? the over on zero? Who are you sitting here? Uh, Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Rex Burkhead, Tevin Coleman. Yeesh. I'm sitting Coleman. Same. Yeah, so you're starting both Eagles. All right. I like yep. it. Gasicki or Pitts? Sticking with Pitts. That is a close one. Uh, I, this is the first week where I've actually 
legitimately lowered Kyle Pitts. I have him at tight end 11. I have Gusecki at 12. If Parker, if Devontae Parker wasn't playing, it would be easier for me to start Gusecki over him. But I think that's a, a legitimate risk to Mike Gusecki's workload. By the way, should we be talking trash about that game right now, Chris? Which it's game? a big one. Giants, Dolphins, man. Which game? Uh, no, because no, you're the only, like, you have an emotional connection to the Giants, and I have none to the Dolphins. Oh, okay. Then I won't talk any trash, which is a good thing for me. Uh, Michelle Pittman or Lockett? Um, Michelle, actually, I, I think might Pittman. go Lockett. I I would go with Michelle, uh, but you have that option if Daryl Henderson plays because I believe Lockett. Okay, is... yeah. So that's yeah. I would go Michelle if, and then if Henderson plays, pivot to Lockett. Let's yep. play a fun game. Guess Michael Pittman's start percentage. Oh, seventy-seven percent. I was going to say 78 and closest without going over them. I mean, that is such a jerk move. <laughs> like uh, you win 86% started Michael Pittman, probably a little too high, but I don't know. It's also given the state of the wide receiver position. Yeah. Yep. That's who, exactly. who would you start over him? I would start personally Van Jefferson or Beckham over him. Um, Van Jefferson or Rex Burkhead or Rex Ryan. Um, I, I miss Rex Ryan. You watch ESPN. He's on it. <laughs> so here's a fun one. I have Van Jefferson one spot ahead of Rex Burkhead in my flex rankings. Did yes, you... I'm good with oh. that. Okay. Did you see I tweeted <laughs> yesterday the uh, Big Ten championship game, the amount of people they had on the set at halftime? No. I, I wonder. I'm going to send the tweet to Chris, uh, to our producer, and maybe they can, <laughs> we can display it. And we'll have a nice laugh about it. Odell Pittman and DeAndre Hopkins pick two. Hmm. All right. We are sitting Odell. No, we're not. No, we're sitting Pittman. Yeah. Didn't I just say that Frank, but I am the, I am higher. I think Dave is the highest among the, the like real fantasy football today guys. Uh, in on, on Beckham, but he's like 24. I'm, 13 i think okay <laughs> i don't feel good about it i don't feel good about it uh 16 scott, excuse me 16 scott michelle beckham van jefferson pick one in non ppr um it's michelle and, and you have the obvious pivots yeah. there if you need them yep michelle if henderson plays i would go Beckham. yep you guys so you guys like beckham over jefferson yes one i have them one spot apart but yeah odell beckham is higher no one mentions Jamar Jefferson all week. That's true. Yeah. I think but, the, so the yeah. problem is I'm just kind of assuming that Jamal Williams is going to get the role that DeAndre Swift had when Jamal Williams was out. And maybe that's not a fair assumption, but um they've really shown very little interest in using Jefferson or um I can't think of the the other guy's name who I'm not even sure Jefferson is Clear number like two. Godwin, Godwin. Yeah, Godwin. I, I, it, yeah. yeah. I, Godwin. Don't, I can't pronounce the name. Or I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Um, Godwin. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know either. Converted safety, I believe, from college. Um, but yeah, outside of that one, it was the, the Steelers game where they just ran like 45 times or something. Um, Outside of that, and even then, those guys only had five carries between them. So I'm not expecting to see much from the backup running backs in Detroit. Okay. So what do we got? Let's get let's get some fresh ones here. Claypool or Pittman? Still Pittman for me. Yeah. Pitts or Fryermuth, non PPR. Mm, Definitely Fryermuth and non PPR. Come on. We need touchdowns, Still Chris. Pitt. Bill Pitts. No. Producer Chris, I sent you I sent you the oh yeah, all right. All right let's go. Look at this halftime set. That was like that is a four person set with that's six people, people on it. That yeah. Is, yeah. That's that's a lot of people. I saw uh, the the uh, what's it called? A commercial for the Big Ten thing. And I was like, oh Brady Quinn, I know that guy. Yeah, Brady Quinn's there. Yeah. Ask Brady about that. But Matt, look at Matt Liner. Like Matt Liner is wearing. He wanted to stand out. Like he's yeah. his suit is so flashy. 
He's the, he, he didn't understand the assignment, I guess. I think that's what the kids say. <laughs> We're blue. Um, yeah. So anyway, I just like, I looked at it. I was like, what? what? That is so many people. And the it's bad too, thing is. So many whole, people. On I, can name, I knew who all five of the analysts were. I didn't know the host's name. I felt really bad about that. I should know. Mm, Very good. I'm not sure I know who the guys on the ends are. Well, the host is on the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's Bob Stoops all the way on the right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I could not tell you. There are like four college coaches who I could identify out of a lineup, probably. Mario Cristobal is one of them. Gaskin or James Robinson. By the way, that's my kitchen. So <laughs> nice. nice TV in your kitchen. Fancy. Yeah. Uh, paying, Gaskin or paying you well. <laughs> that TV was a Black Friday, like $150 purchase a few years ago. It was one of the best purchases I ever made. Um, <laughs> And it's very small, by the way. So anyway, uh, we can get rid of my kitchen now. Thank you. <laughs> Gasket or James Robinson, PPR. I know that Robinson has the questionable tag, but I think he's going to go. I have him ranked higher. I have Gaskin one spot higher. James Robinson or Jamal Williams? Jamal Williams. Yep. Terry McLaurin, Deontay Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins, Darnell Mooney. Who am I sitting? Half PPR. Mooney, but yes. McLaurin, Hopkins, and Mooney are like almost back to back to back for me. Yeah, Mooney. Uh, I, like I've said it on the show. I like so much about it, but the Cardinals have been the, in my opinion, the very best taking away number one receivers this year. Uh, it's it's not that they maybe in terms of yards haven't been, but when you look at who they have faced and. Debo twice, Cooper Cup with his only bad game of the year, his only game with fewer than 90 yards. Uh, Justin Jefferson, Julio Jones for that matter. I know I'm forgetting some. Uh, It's just week after week, the Cardinals have been so good against number ones, and they give up the third fewest receiving yards to slot receivers too, so it's not like he'll even have that much of an advantage when he's in the slot. It's almost like uh, I'm daring myself to to actually care about that research because I ignore it every week. Oh, DK Metcalf is another guy. I ignore it every week. I don't want to ignore it. So that's why for me, I'm a little lower on Mooney than everybody, but I think everybody said sit Mooney there. So it's, I guess I'm just peacocking right now with all this tremendous research. By the way, uh, did you guys see Taysom Hill's score in Scott Fishbowl? No. Oh, it's, no. It's a testament to the scoring format that Scott Fish put together because Taysom Hill had a very good fantasy game uh, yeah, in standard points. scoring. Uh, he had 3.16 in Scott Fishbowl. Wow. Which is much more representative yeah. of how he played he really on Thursday night. He Good was a disaster. Yeah. yeah. I think you get, what, like minus three or four per interception? Minus so. four for interceptions. Yeah. You lose points for incompletions. And pick six, uh, right? Isn't there a pick six penalty or no? Am I, I crazy? Maybe. I know it doesn't look like it, but yeah, I, I started him. Yeah, that's, that's how I know. Cool. When you have when you have Daniel Jones and Ben Roethlisberger, you're reminded about Scott Fishbowl scoring on a weekly basis. Yeah, it's it's rough. All right, pick three and half PPR: Madison, Najee Harris, Javante, Jamal, Miles Gaskin. Oh, who are we sitting? Najee, Damn. we're sitting Gaskin. No, I'm sitting Gaskin and Javante. Same, but it does not feel good. I need you're sitting Jamal. I'm sitting Javante, right? Yes, yes, you're right. Okay. So everybody's starting Harris and Madison, basically. Yep, yep. Needs a quarterback here. Heineke, Minshew, Goff, Ben. Heineke is QB 13 for me. I Yeah, he's definitely the highest ranked of those for me as well. Doyle, Herndon, Parham, Conklin, Everett. Hmm. I believe uh, it's... Can you put that back up? Yeah, yeah, it's Everett for me. Doyle, yeah. Herndon, Parham, yeah, it's Everett. Conklin, Everett. Well, no, Conklin over Everett. Yeah, I have Gerald Everett at tight end 15. Maybe it's a little high, but since Russell Wilson has returned, he has a 22% target share. Leads the team. Gaskin, CEH, or James Robinson? I think we just need one. I have Gaskin one spot ahead of Robinson. I have Robinson ahead of Gaskin. I have this really not funny Tyler Conklin joke that I'm working on right now. What do you think I should? T- <laughs> I was gonna say, you know what? Uh, you know what he did after he ate all that turkey on Thanksgiving? He was Conklin out. You know, like conking out. All right, <laughs> so, Rashad Moore, Bateman, PBR. 
Uh, I would go with Bateman. Um, yeah, Bateman over Moore. Conk- Moore's not inside of my top forty-five right now. Yeah, you can just Google Google it. Conking out. Uh, that's a, no, that's a thing. The, yeah. the reaction wasn't because like we didn't you understand. Didn't yeah. You're right. No, I had to explain it. It's bad. It didn't, it didn't it. go over our heads. <laughs> I promise you. I need a running back and a flex in PPR. Javante, Gibson, Michelle, Jamar Chase. All right. We okay, are so Javante. Uh, I would go Gibson. Gibson, Gibson and... Michelle, uh, no, Gibson and Chase. Gibson and Chase. I have really neglected my duties of telling everybody to hit the damn like button. 442 likes. I want 500 likes. I will only read two more questions until we get to 500 likes. Yeah, hit the thumbs up. Oh, I really, I, I have not hit like. Okay, well, now we're that's why that's why we're slack, slacking. Yeah. 445 right now. Let's get to 500 really quickly. Let's go. Logan Thomas, Hawkinson, Russell Gage, pick two. Uh, Hawkinson and Thomas. Yes. Really, really. Yeah. Hawkinson and Thomas, huh? That's interesting because Thomas had like 30 yards last week. Yeah, but he played, did he play every snap in his first game back or he played like 80% of the snaps in his first game back, ran all the routes. I, I just going to do all that. No, I don't know if, what Gage's snap percentage is, I guess. Sh- Should have had a touchdown too, Thomas. Yes. I, I do think, I just think Logan Thomas is better than Russell Gage. Okay. Yeah. And half PPR pick three. Madison, not. Oh, just did that. Sorry. Uh, Waddle, Godwin, Javante Williams. I don't want to sit Waddle, but I think you have to there. Yeah. 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 I think that's really tough, but yeah, I think so. This is me waddling like Jalen Waddle did in the end zone. (laughs) That was fantastic. It was great. Yeah. Should I should I start a kicker in Scott Fishbowl over Cortland Sutton or Ty Johnson? Absolutely. Brian Absolutely. Suckup over Ty Johnson or Cortland Sutton? Without a question. Yeah. Yes. I think so, yep. Should I start two kickers? Over both of them? <laughs> I think so. Over who? Uh, Ty Johnson and Cortland Sutton. Oh, I believe oh. you can start two kickers in Scott Fishbowl. Yeah, you should. I mean, especially Ty Johnson. Okay, let's see. Man, Cordero Patterson is like the only reason my wide receivers are okay in in Scott Fishbowl. Um, yeah, mine are not okay. <laughs> my running backs are Pitts, Judy, Kirk. Who do you like? PPR. I think I have. I would still go Pitts, but it is close. I do have Jerry Judy ranked higher, but no confidence in that whatsoever. Uh, Chris, what's a better song? Sweet Judy Blue Eyes or Hey Judy? Uh, Sweet Judy Blue Eyes, that's uh, that's what? It's Crosby, Stills, and Nash? Yeah. Hey Judy is the Beatles. You love, love that song. <laughs> it's I, it's love Hey that. Jude, but... Oh, right. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rams or Pats this week? I would use Rams. the Rams. Yep. D Hop. Always want I Hop when I see that. D Hop, Lockett, McLaurin, Clyde, Waddle. Pick two. That would be Lockett and Waddle for me. McLaurin and Waddle. Have you ever been to I Hop, Frank? Oh, yeah. Oh, you have? Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Not really a New York thing, I feel. Eh, there's a few. I think there's one buried out there in Queens. Somewhere. Okay. Uh, Montgomery or Miles Sanders, half PPR? Montgomery. Yes. Sit one, Cordaro Patterson, Elijah Mitchell, Najee Harris, or James Conner. My goodness. I'm sitting Mitchell. I would sit Cordaro Patterson, but that is a great problem to have. Slide him in the wide receiver slot. Well, yeah. Assuming James Robinson plays, would you start him over Sony? That's a good idea. Sony Michelle or James Robinson? Uh, Michelle, if Henderson's out. Correct. Brandison. <laughs> Brandon Cooks. Chris said Henderson. I was saying Brandon. I said Brandison. Brandon Cooks, Sony Michelle, or Elijah Moore? Future Mets manager Curtis Granderson. Is that going to happen? 
That's the rumor. Um, pick one, Michelle. Say it. Yep. Say it. And Corey Davis or T.Y. Hilton, non PPR? T.Y. T.Y. Boy, by the way, Daryl Henderson T-Y. better sit today or T-Y. we're going to look pretty foolish. T.Y. FIU. T.Y. knows Mario Cristobal. Yeah. Uh, Everett, Doyle, Komet, Moreau. Give me a replacement for Waller. I'm going Moreau here. Yep. Uh, I'm trying to click on another one. There we go. Oh, uh, we did this one, right? Yeah, we did that one. All right. Next. Carr or Wilson and eggnog? <laughs> never had that. I would use Derek Carr, and I have never had eggnog either. I prefer Coquito, which I is like say, uh, I enjoy like a nice a Coquito. Puerto Rican version of eggnog that doesn't have egg in it. It's much better. Is uh, eggnog? And, oh, go ahead. And Derek Carr. Yeah, I'm going to go Wilson. Uh, I I don't know why we have... Con- I have to start Carr in one league in a 2QB league. I'm starting him over Wentz, who might throw 20 passes. But I just... Here's my concern with Carr. He hasn't really been good since Ruggs, you know, left the team. And now he doesn't have Waller. And last week, he got the explosive play from Deshaun Jackson. That helped. He threw the ball a ton. But you also have this Mariota factor here. So I really have very little faith in Derek Carr. Like I said, I'm starting him over Wentz. I'd start him over Heineke. But I would go with Wilson, who has been amazing, obviously, lately. Everybody knows that. <laughs> uh, I, this is really more about Carr to me. But um, the you most fair. Really pisses me off, to be quite honest. And Carr, uh, Deshaun Jackson being out might really matter. Because basically the only time we've seen Carr play well this season was when he had Henry Ruggs and then when Deshaun Jackson you know, got involved, I think, last week. Um, other than that, he's reverted back to being, you know, a much more conservative passer. And the the breakout that he had in the second half last season was a lot to do with the fact that he was pushing the ball down the field more more consistently. Yeah, you, you just have to love the matchup for Carr. That's, that's what it comes down to me, uh, for me. So I have him at QB 10, but Russell Wilson's right there behind him. He's QB 12, so it's close. All right, guys, the final college football playoff rankings are in. Number one, anyone want to guess who's number one? Hmm. Alabama. Alabama is number one. Number two is Michigan. Number three is Georgia. And number four is Cincinnati. Wow. Poor Cincinnati has to get Alabama. Wow. Good for them. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not surprised. That, thankfully, Oklahoma State lost and didn't have to have that discussion. Now, that was an incredible finish that I missed, unfortunately. But not, a goal line stand to win a game is basically as cool as it gets. Michelle yeah. or Barkley, full PPR? Um, this is probably unpopular, but I have Saquon one spot ahead of Sony Michelle. I could see Saquon having a good game, especially as a pass catcher. Um, but I would go with Michelle. What's the bet? I'm going to get to all your questions, or not all of them, but a lot. What's the best finish to a game that you've ever seen in person mm-hmm. at a game? Uh, the had? time Josh Allen tried to lateral to Dawson Knox during the Texans playoff game. You, you were, were there? there? Oh, that I've been to yeah, live? In person, yeah. Oh, no, I was just making a joke. <laughs> um, best ending to a game that I've ever been to. Okay, so one alex gonzalez walk off home run over the new york yankees in the 2003 world series game four don't know if you guys remember that one that's um just go or fiu versus arkansas state in 2009 uh ty hilton they were down by six like 20 seconds left they run a, a reverse ty hilton gets the ball fumbles on the exchange picks it up and chucks it 40 yards downfield for a game winning touchdown that was like one of the most insane plays I've ever seen live. That's cool. It was to win the game. Amazing. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. <laughs> that is all awesome. 37 of us in the student section at FIU Stadium were, were going nuts. <laughs> Good for you. Frank, what do you got? I can't think of anything specific. Like, I know I've seen walk off wins, but they're like regular season Yankee games. So nothing stands out crazy like that. So. All right. Boring answer. Sorry. Right. Well, you, Adam. Any, anything? I think Chris is going to have to help me with this one. 
Uh, it was it was a Marlins Giants playoff game the year they ninety seven. Oh which, yeah, game four of the two thousand three. Right. I think it was the only playoff series that has ever ended on a play at the plate. Jake was, Snow got thrown right, out by Jeff Conine at uh, at home plate. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. I don't know if that was the best. I mean, I've seen my man at Florida State wide rights, wide lefts, that kind of stuff may have been. But the most unique? No, what the hell am I talking about? It was uh, it was Edgar Renteria. I was at the World Seven oh, World wow. Series game yeah. seven. You, you was saw a World Series walk off winner <laughs> yeah. to win a series in <laughs> well, the eleventh inning. Yeah, the, yeah, they were the best play in baseball history. It really is. I mean, yeah, that's it, and it, and because it's the Marlins, Marlins Indians, it was it, it shows up as like twentieth on the list. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but it's arguably the best play in baseball history, and I was there. So. <laughs> All right, let's go. Not quite uh, Luis Gonzalez off Mariano Rivera. Well, but, that's the thing. It, it was. It, you I, know, I know. I was just just twisting the knife, guys. But it's never even close. And, uh, I heard you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block you soon. But um, <laughs> it's never even close on the list. All right, anyway. Uh, need a wide receiver. Standard scoring. Marvin Jones, Bateman, Mooney, Boyd, Pat. I'm going to stop at Mooney. Go with Mooney. Yeah, right? it's Mooney. Yeah. Even I with the weather, I don't like any of the other guys. Yeah. Everyone else there is pretty bad. Marvin yeah. Jones actually like ended up coming out like 32nd in my when I like did the projections to start the week. And then I just kind of kept moving him down because I don't want any part of that. OK, Beckham, Sutton, Deshaun Jackson. Oh, Beckham easily. Yeah, Beckham. All right. Burkhead or Ramondre Stevenson? Burkhead. That is a legitimate question and it's close, but I would go Burkhead. It is not even close for me. <laughs> Burkhead all the way. Gabe All in. Robinson, Damian Harris, PPR. Stupendous sports. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Um, I would have Hawkinson ranked highest. Yep, same. Devontae Parker or or uh, Daryl Williams. Daryl Williams basically has no role unless he's scoring a touchdown. I just don't. When CEH came back, I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe Daryl Williams will still be an okay flex in PPR leagues. But you look at his game log with CEH. I mean, there's only, there's really nothing there. So. Yeah, it's like five touches. Yeah. It's it's just enough to be frustrating for Clyde edwards Lair, but not enough right. to make Daryl Williams worth using. Yeah, yeah I would use Parker. Yep. Okay. <sighs> Gage or Jacoby Myers? Good question. Gage. I have Jacoby ranked higher. That is... Let's go weather there. Let's go weather. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, I have Jacoby I one spot higher. I'll move Jacoby down. Yeah, I'll. I'll. That's that's a good point. We'll go with uh, Russell Gage. Kirk or Kyler? I believe I have Kirk Cousins one spot. High. Yep. QB eight versus QB nine. Uh, Kyler. Stafford or Kyler? Stafford. Kyler. Chris, you ready to uh, take over? Not really. Give me, give I guess five. I will keep giving five. All right, thank you. Um, let me just, I'm just updating my rankings. All right, I'll give, I'll, I'll take over then for this brief moment. Wilson or Lamar Jackson? Oh, uh, oh Lamar's wait, number yeah. one. Yeah, still Lamar. That may be a different. No, that's just that question. Okay. James All Robinson, right. you can feel in. All right, Chris, you're up. Go ahead. Uh, I would sit James Robinson here, I think. I would also sit James Robinson. Yep. And Chris is gone. Oh, well, that's not going to help me set my lineups. <laughs> Earth, Bateman, or Myers. <laughs> Get back here, man. What are you doing? I I don't know what happened. I hit enter, and it reloaded my page. I don't know. It's not how it's supposed to happen. Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. We didn't answer that we one. We have a ton of ple- – we almost have 1,000 people here. We don't even have 600 likes. Let's go. Hit the like button right now. I want 700 within the next five minutes. We're at 543. Chris? Take it away. Okay. Uh, well, I lost the one I was going to do. So, <laughs> Cortland Sutton, Corey Davis, Devontae Parker, or LaVisca Chanel in PPR? Oh, geez. I would I go Devontae. with... Yeah, I would go with Parker, but don't love any of them, really. Odell or Devontae Parker? Odell. You know, Devontae Parker does have a 25% target share this season. I will say. He had at least seven targets in every game that he's played. A very good year because he has faced the Bills twice yeah. and the Patriots and the Raiders. He's faced a lot of very tough defenses. And the Giants, to be fair, have actually been a pretty good defense lately. It's not a great matchup. 
Uh, Kyle Pitts or Logan Thomas? Pitts. So you have Pitts, Thomas outside of your top 12? I do. Okay. Uh, I have Pitts ranked higher also, but Thomas is 11 for me, I think. Uh, no, don't care about that one. Sorry. Um, that's good. By far the best World Series ending, Yankees versus D-backs. Yeah. We don't have to read this one, Chris. Come Love on. that one. <laughs> uh, AJ Green or Sonny Michelle? Sonny Michelle. Yep. How Pitts or, or uh, Pat Fryermuth? I would go with Fryermuth. Patriots DST or Vikings DST? Oh, I think I would use the Vikings. Yeah, against the Lions. Hawkinson or Logan Thomas? Uh, Hawkinson. Joe Burrow or Russell Wilson? Still Burrow. I have Russ one spot higher. And then sit one. Eckler, Madison, Najee Harris, or Sonny Michelle. As much as I like Sonny Michelle this week, the other three are top four running backs for me this week. Yeah, they are all inside my tops. I think six or seven. Uh, yeah. So I would sit Michelle as well. Giants or Washington DST? Oh, I would use the Giants, I think. Washington. Fant or Gasicki? <laughs> I would use Gasicki. I agree. Devontae Smith with Gardner Minshew or Van Jefferson with potentially no Odell? It does seem like Odell's going to play through this hip injury. Yeah. This is close. I have Devontae Smith at wide receiver 25. Van Jefferson is two spots behind him. Yep, I'm in the same range. Jefferson's a little lower, so I would go Devontae over him. Pick two non-PPR playoff time for Corey. Ertz, Van Jefferson, or Manny Sanders? Emmanuel Sanders. Pick two non-PPR. Okay, Jefferson for sure. It is close between Ertz and Sanders. Who's more likely to score a touchdown non-PPR? Probably Ertz, so I'll go with him. Yeah, I think if the weather wasn't quite as bad, I might go with Emmanuel Sanders, but with the weather expected to be kind of an issue, I, I would go with uh, Zach Ertz over him. Antonio Gibson, Sony Michelle, or Miles Gaskin, half PPR. Rank them. I have them. Gibson, Michelle, Gaskin. PPR, half PPR. Higgins or Hopkins? Mm, I... That is super close. I think I have D-Hop higher. Yeah, two spots higher. I believe I have Higgins one spot lower than Hopkins. Yeah. Nope, one spot higher, so I, I would go with Higgins. It's close, though, yeah. They're really close. right in that same range. Najee Harris or Elijah Mitchell? Mm -hmm. I know you like Elijah Mitchell a lot. You said he's top six for you? Yeah, yeah, so I have him one spot higher. Uh, than than Najee Harris. Harris, I mean, look, obviously I'm not that worried about him because I have him RB7, but mm -hmm. he's like kind of hitting a wall here and the Steelers offense is like pretty bad. And Elijah Mitchell is getting all these touches now and he's five receptions in two of his last three games. That's the one thing that I would be cautious about because Jamichael Hasty is back and he was playing most of the passing downs. Uh, Jamichael Hasty, I believe, is active or going to be active for this game. Mm -hmm. mm. Pittman's Higgins, Moore, or Mooney? Elijah Mitchell, I just want to point out with, not Mitchell, sorry, Najee Harris. Uh, it's been a kind of a wins and losses thing. He had five straight games with 20 plus carries, and they went 4 0 and 1. They've lost their last two games. They got, they gave up 41 points in each of those games. <laughs> and he's, you know, what does he have, like 12 carries or something, you know, around there? 20 carries between the two games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, there you go. Said my piece. Go on. Uh, Pittman's Higgins Moore or Mooney. I have Pittman just ahead of Higgins. That one is really close. And then it's Mooney and then it's Moore. That's yeah, it. I would rank it Higgins, Mooney, Pittman, Moore. So slightly mm. different. You don't like Pittman very much this week, huh, Chris? I mean, he's wide receiver 21. And I, I know it's a great matchup. It's just the pass volume has not been there for them. He, that um, is fair. I think the last time they played Houston, Carson Wentz, attempted 20 passes i want to say um he did have two touchdowns i believe Pittman had one in that game but still a little concerning for me do i risk benching david montgomery for sony michelle if henderson starts he can pivot to alex collins or jacoby myers i i think i would just go with montgomery i it's fair uh like if you're really that worried about henderson playing i think sony and montgomery are close enough that uh, if that if if you like that safety, then go with Montgomery. But I think we all 
you know, kind of feel pretty good that Henderson's going to be out. So mm-hmm. uh, I, I do have Sony ranked higher than, than Montgomery. So I would use, I use, would use Sony Michelle. I do have Montgomery. I have Montgomery ranked higher either way. Okay. I think it's one yeah. spot apart, but yeah. All right. I can uh, hop in. Thank you, Chris. I'm sitting Chris. That's fair. So is Adam. <laughs> uh, only six hundred. Only six hundred and thirty likes. Let's get to seven hundred, please. We've got uh, over a thousand people here, so let's get those likes up. Please hit the like button. We'd really appreciate it. Bateman, Freeman, Hollywood, Michelle, pick two in PPR. Hmm. So Hollywood for sh- uh, Hollywood and Sony Michelle. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Same. Man, Hollywood Brown. I know he hasn't been great, although he's been pretty good for PPR just because of the volume. His 16 game pace for targets over the last five games is like 180 or something. He's got 54 targets over his past five games. So Hollywood Brown is just fine. Don't worry about him. Yeah, except they're not throwing the ball downfield. That's kind of hurting him. But yeah, yeah, he's. I'm starting. He's a must start. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is active, but did not come out for the team's official warm up. Hmm. So this could be an Amari Cooper situation. You might want to try to get away it's from a little that. worrisome yeah yeah russell wilson or Minshew. i meant to click on that one there it is russell wilson or Minshew. i'll get back to the other one in a second it's still wilson i think i have Minshew yep. like 21 at qb i'm not overly excited about it okay robinson iuke lockett ppr give me a wide receiver and a flex i mm. would go with iuke and in ppr i would still go i would go lock it Ayuk and lock it yeah, that's um, a tough one, huh? I have a Yuke and Lockett ranked higher. Ayuk is one spot higher than Robinson in my flex rankings. So. I'm, I'm nervous about Robinson every week, and he always comes through. But I'm nervous about him this week. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, I'm nervous about Brandon Ayuk. We're talking about a guy who, like, yes, he should have a big role, but you know, he shouldn't have been the number four wide receiver to start the season either. You know, I, I think he's going to be, you know, the number one wide receiver. I just don't know. I'm not a hundred percent confident that's going to mean nine targets in a big game you know well it's you know it's an interesting matchup because the seahawks have been terrific against wide receivers since like week three basically mm-hmm. i'll give you the exact stat um week and four, their defensive but, approach has funneled a lot of targets away from wide receivers and towards running backs and they changed their secondary they changed up their starting lineup in the secondary so since week five in week four they gave up two touchdown catches to debo since then one touchdown catch to a wide receiver since week five, and that was Jamal Agnew. So uh, they've been much better. They also, now the key here is they have the fourth best red zone defense, and the Niners have the best red zone offense. I like the Niners to kind of win that battle, but Mm -hmm. it is something to keep an eye on there. Knox or Higby? Knox. Mm -hmm. Yes. You could, in theory, I guess Knox could benefit from the weather if it hurts the downfield passing. Yeah. Could just be a sloppy game. Chase or Godwin? PPR. Hmm. Oh, I have I have Godwin. I think a couple spots higher. I have them six and seven. Jamar Chase is ahead. But like, it's not even do you get, it's Godwin. Do you guys agree there's like a, a non zero chance Antonio Brown doesn't play for the Buccaneers again? I'm getting the sense that he won't. I, I think yeah. they've left open the possibility. Bruce Arians has said that um they're going to make it. They're going to treat them like injured players and make a decision when they're not suspended. There are two guys who got suspended for three games. Yeah. And Bruce Arians was, I think, more than any coach in the NFL vocal about getting his team vaccinated. So I think he took it very, very seriously. Yeah. So it really may not have. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you to drop him. I mean, if anybody listened to Friday's podcast, you know how I feel about it. I'm not going to tell you to drop Antonio Brown, but you may not have him rest of season or rest of. And I mean, there's, there's a, a decent chance, at least. A decent chance he's played his last game. Yeah. And he'll have an, it'll be an interesting Hall of Fame case because he's a, he's a first ballot guy. But oh, uh, yeah, I think he's a first ballot. He's a, a lot of baggage ballot. there. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. But, but even aside from this, this isn't a vaccine thing. This is for all the things before it. Yes. Uh, Pittman or Sony Michelle, PPR? Sony. Uh, Sony. Come on, guys. 671 likes. Let's go. We got 10 minutes left to get to 800. Let's do it. DeGrom or Scherzer? <laughs> uh, DeGrom is better. Right. On a per I'll probably basis. have Scherzer ranked higher this year. Yeah, that's how I have it right now. Higby or Moreau? 
coach? Moreau. Uh, okay. Yes. This next one is going to make my skin crawl. Hopkins or Pittman? Hopkins. Uh, I almost. I have Pittman just ahead, but. It's close. Uh, that that stupid report about him not being out there for warmups has me in my head I know, now. I know. Because <laughs> uh, I, I have Hopkins two spots higher than Pittman anyway, so I'll go ahead and move Hopkins down. Ugh, I don't. I can only move him down so much. I'm moving him to 22, so he's officially below Michael Pittman, still okay. ahead of Jerry Judy. Rita Stevenson or Burkhead PPR. I need one. Ugh, big Burkhead. Pick two in full PPR. McLaurin, Waddle, Javante, Ayuk. The W? Javante and Waddle. Waddle and Williams? I would go with Waddle and Williams. Are you guys haven't downgraded Waddle with uh, Parker back? I, have. I don't think that's really impacted his target share much this season, has it? I honestly don't know because a lot of that wasn't with Tua, so I kind of yeah. ignored it. Yeah. But my my understanding has been that Parker's absence or presence has really been more of a Gasicki thing. All right, so listen, so it's the New England game and the second Bills game where Parker and where Parker, Waddle, and Tua all yeah. played. And in those two games, five targets and eleven targets for Waddle. Yeah. Now so in the five games that Parker has played with Waddle, or Waddle has played with Parker, there's He's averaging six PPR points per game less with Parker in, but uh, 9.4 targets versus 8.6. So he's still been getting a ton of targets with Devontae Parker active. So mm -hmm. I think that still makes me pretty okay with Wall. Yeah, and he's been playing outside more too. He might have just become the alpha guy in the last few weeks. Yeah. And he's also just awesome. <laughs> I, I did not think he was going to be this good right away. Same. I don't think he's really been that great, if I'm being honest. I mean, he's been a catch machine, very low A dot, very low yards per catch. He's yeah, but the A dot's gone up. The the A dot was really, oh. really low with um uh Brissett. Jacoby Brissett. Well, it we was like four we, yards or something. Last week was the was the first time, maybe not the first, but the most clear exhibit of his breakaway talents. Because mm -hmm. the guy you just haven't seen him get in the open field much last week. Yeah. All right, we got five minutes, but six, seven minutes left. Madison Sanders Barkley pick two. Madison and Barkley. Madison and Barkley. Assuming Henderson is out, pick two. Sony, Javante, Cordaro, Patterson. Javante and Patterson. Correct. All right, we are at 703 likes. Let's get to 800 in the next five minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Full PPR. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Juan. Please pick two. Ayuk, Higgins, Montgomery. Ayuk and Montgomery. Ayuk and Montgomery. Jamal Williams or Saquon Barkley? Jamal. Yes. Jamal. Javante Williams or Hollywood Brown? Woo! Damn. Full PPR. I would, I, I would go Javante. I would yep, go Javante. PPR, I need four. All right. Patterson, Evans, Mitchell, Javante, Jamar Chase, and Diggs. Wow. Um, so you're sitting. Jamar two, Chase is the easiest to sit for me. No, you're sitting two. Right? There are six names. Yep, yep, yep. I am sitting. I'm sitting Mitchell. Oh, that's Mike Evans? Yeah. Yeesh. I would sit Javante and Corderell Patterson. I'm sitting Mitchell and Chase. Oh, that is okay. really, really tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, Chris, you probably won't need it. Uh, we just answered that one. Burkhead or Devontae Parker? <laughs> Give me the um, touches. Burkhead. I will go with Burkhead. Start two. Chris Godwin, Hunter Renfro, Sony Michelle, Mooney, Judy. PPR. Mm, one needs Godwin. to be a wide receiver, by the way. Yeah, Godwin, at wide receiver, and Mitchell. Michelle. Sorry. Michelle. I would go with Godwin and Renfro in PPR. Bold. Robinson, Ayuk, Thielen. Pick two. Hmm. I, I would go with Thielen and Ayuk. 
Yeah, I have. Where the heck are those guys? I would go Thielen and Ayuk. All right, 721 likes. Let's go. Let's get to 800. We got four minutes left. That's 20 per minute. Let's do it. We can do that. Patriots or Dolphins DST? Dolphins. Yes. Patriots or Bucks DST? Um, I would go Bucks. with the Bucks. Mike Williams or Van Jefferson? I have this very decision that I've already made. Mike Williams. Van Jefferson. Van for me. Tua or Wilson? Wilson. I believe I have Tua ranked higher. I do. Deontay, DeAndre, Jamar Chase, and McLaurin pick two. Deontay and Chase. Yep. Oh, okay, wait. Jay Glazer says DeAndre Hopkins is a full go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just treating him like a low-end wide receiver, too. What does Jay Glazer know? <laughs> uh, Jay Glazer also said that Jalen Hurts is only expected to miss one game. That's not Steve fair. Adrian James Robinson. And or both over Jerry Judy. Uh, both over Jerry Judy. Yes. Hopkins or Mooney, half PBR. All right. Updating this one. Uh, I even after lowering DeAndre, I still left him ahead of Mooney. I'll go with Hopkins. Moving Hit him like, back up. Hit like or I'm gonna find you. And uh we'll have lunch. Boston Scott or Rex Burkhead? Burkhead. I have Burkhead ranked higher. Yep. Kendrick Bourne or Sony Michelle? Standard. Sony Michelle. Yes. Kendrick Bourne's touchdown up the sideline last week was one of the slowest developing touchdowns I've ever seen. <laughs> Absolutely horrible defense. Uh, Waddle, Chase, Mooney, or Jamal Williams? Pick two. Mm, Jamal and... Oh, no, I, I don't think I can sit. Well, I like Waddle, but I, I'm going to go chase over Waddle. Yeah, it's Jamar and Jamal. Yeah. Yep. J Jamar Chase, I think he has three straight games with fewer than 40 yards. Is that right? I might be a little. Uh, more yes, I think that. that's right. Yep. But he's built up some equity, I guess. Standard scoring pick three Najee Harris, Eli Mitchell, Madison, or Connor? Who are you sitting? Mm. I would. Oh, man. I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit Najee. In standard scoring, I'm sitting Mitchell. I would sit. Actually, no. In okay, non PBR, yeah, I would sit Najee. Yeah, same. So, by the way, it's four straight games with fewer than 50 yards for Chase. It's three of those four with fewer than 40 yards. You think he's gonna be a first round pick next year? <laughs> he's gonna clock in right around 12, 12 to um, 15. My early read is no. Probably. I mean, an early would, second rounder. Would you take him over Justin Jefferson? No, I think he'll go where Jefferson went this year, which is yeah, I think like late, yeah. late second, yeah, mid yeah. to late, mid to late, yeah, 12, 12 to twenty four, anywhere from there, yeah, uh, okay, thirteen to twenty four, pretty good. Hopkins or David Montgomery, David Montgomery. Montgomery, yep. Mike Boone, Ty Johnson, Matt Breida, pick two in non PPR. Oh, uh, I uh, would sit. Breida and Johnson, yeah, same. Bateman or Parker. Parker. I have Devontae Parker ranked higher, yeah. Josh Jacobs or Miles Sanders? Miles Jacobs. Sanders. Miles Sanders or Devontae Smith, PPR? Miles Sanders. Sanders. All right, I can deal with 754 likes. Not bad, not bad. Let's check the poll results, by the way. Who would you pick, Jamal Williams or Javante Williams? Javante Williams did win. What That's percentage awesome, of the right. vote do you guys think he got? Out of 100. 64. Mm, 64. 50, 58. Oh, I thought you were going to say 65. That's kind of what you do. Yeah, I thought I thought about it. Closest without going over is Frank. Closest overall is Chris. It was 62%. You guys can decide who wins. We all win. Thank you all for watching. This has been awesome. A really a lot of fun, and we very much appreciate it. Good luck to you in week 13. For Frank, for Chris, and our producer, Chris, I'm Adam. Let's go get a win, and we'll see you tonight right here at YouTube.com slash Today, about 8, 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll talk to you.